Oh, everyone, welcome to the stream. And to me, to, with me today is Tiberius Vanderfill. How to say hello, Tiberius. Hello, hello. I have arrived. This song is, this song is so goofy, I need to turn it down because it's loud. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yes. Before I forget, again, I'm going to do my, my new intro. That has been my new intro for a very long time and never stops never, feeling never like my new intro because I haven't been doing it very consistently. Let's do it. Yes. Hello. Hello. I've arrived. Future man, researcher, artist, and part-time assistant bartender. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Nice. Hello, Hello. Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, Sheppy Sheps. Hello, Madrosity. <laughs> Hello, Madrosity. How are you doing? Welcome in Madrosity. How you doing? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna romance some waifus. Or we get romanced. Most most of the time we, we are the ones getting romanced. More or less. Uh, consensually or in the other end of consensuality. Let's see. Load. Load. Where are we at? I forget. Room! Uh, we're at room. room! We're at room! Day 13. That's right. It's the it's the Christmas party. No, that's it's right. It's not Christmas. Doing... It's mega Christmas. You're right. Very important you're, distinction. You're, you're a very important distinction. V Merry mega Crims Cr Crimbus. Let us celebrate Santa's resurrection as the mega Santa that saved Christmas from the Redmonds. What? Hmm? Man, the the that's awesome. That is, I, I like the new Christmas lore. That. Uh, it kept, keeps on evolving. Mm -hmm. A party, then I'll bring you. I'll bring you leftovers. All right. Does Jill need any? I don't think Jill needs anything to uh, feel happy today, right? Uh, it doesn't sound like it. I mean, it's a day off, so if I were if I were worth worth eh, in her in her shoes, I'd probably be pretty happy on its own. Uh huh. Update two. This is the augmented eye. It said. It is a journal. It is a journal of sorts, of, of uh, questionable a, integrity. I was gonna say, yeah, it's a newspaper. <laughs> uh, Lilim receiving mysterious messages. The messages have suddenly stopped, and everything is normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering what's the deal. Was it a prankster, or someone who just discovered how to subvert public communication channels in Lilim? Either way. Some reports indicate that Lillian behavior has been rather unusual as of late, although we can only imagine the confusion that we're going through. Not the first time. Let's not forget when something similar happened five years ago, when Lillian advancement was at its historic high. Fortunately, nothing came out of it. What will happen again? Time will tell. It, it is will. sexist. It is, is it sexist to have an army of robot women? <laughs> How about you take this one? This will be fun. Sure. Ones without inter artificial intelligence, mind you. The King of the West, Khan Yi, from the Western nation of Kanyevania. <laughs> this is so terrible. This is so dated. This is so fucking dated. Anyway, go. Bit. Has approximately oh, 6,000 robot soldiers, all of whom look like, quote, the hottest girls around, end quote. What is this? The sh what is this show of quirkiness from the wacky dictator? Problematic. Okay, that actually that actually tracks. <laughs> that actually fucking tracks. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Those dictators from Venezuela or whatever just do what they want. They don't. They don't, get, they don't care. Mary Mariana Zimmer, thirty-five, told the augmented eye during a street interview. They're all pretty hot, though. If I was him, I'd rather I'd have done the same. Why bother with a real thing when you can make them from scratch to match your every needs? Or as we <laughs> investigate. Uh, no. I mean, hmm? I don't think that's sexist. If they're capable, then if they do the job right, who cares what gender they are? They're, they deserve a function of the state. I'd say you're empowering women. I'm just saying. To be fair, they aren't they aren't sapient. True. So, so the empowerment not... is perhaps 
less than less than ideal. You're right. So it's also it's also funded by Kanye West. So yes. Um Yoro Yori is the best show. Full stop. <laughs> <You> see... <laughs> Yoro Yori. Don't you mean Yuru Yuru Yuri? <laughs> if you weren't a fan from Yuri or Slice of Life shows already, then be prepared to join the Moe Church this season with the premiere of Yoro Yori, one of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. The pals at the popular Danger You forum seem to be divided, however. This is such an obvious pandering. Remember when anime was about women doing womanly things and beating the shit out of each other? What is this trash? No, I don't remember that. You guys are just haters who hate their lives. I'm going to marry Shinasu. Wake me up inside. <laughs> so bad you can carry you can you can catch yy every thursday on rstv okay right i think that was <laughs> it's very important we get the days right otherwise our viewers will be confused right uh there's yeah, no that other seems news to be so... all that oh yeah that seems to be all the news <laughs> yes it's mega christmas good evening Jill, I told you to come in with the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. Well, you, so you do you. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Gil are in your uniforms too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. So, so I'm, aren't I as well? What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. Hey, it's Alice Rap I mean, Alma! <laughs> <laughs> well, everything's in place back there. Ah, Alma's here. You know, there was a time when people greeted others before staying stuff like that. Come on, Jill. Greet her properly. Welcome to Va <clears throat> Wait. <laughs> Man, if that's not a sign that you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. Shut up. Come a reflex. Wait. Almo also came in her user attire. Why aren't you saying anything to her? Herb sweaters get a free pass. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think we all know why. Silly question, never mind. Jamie came earlier too, and dogs went with him to get some ice. We have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What are you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. The what? I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks just like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put the food inside it, press a button, watch as it warms the food up like a, just like a microwave. It's an infomercial bobble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh, so you've bought infomercial stuff, too. Haven't you? At the very least, a good idea for gifts. Well... Dynamic entry! Finally, at least someone came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? <sighs> uh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. I just, that just dawned on me what she's, the joke was. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my. That just flew right by my head. You're taking mm. her side now? Jealous? You wish. You don't need to fight for me. Or not. 
I'll go check the microwave wires thingy. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. Hey, <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. <clears throat> Back. Oh. Uh, hello, Jill. What was I? I, I um, was Nacho. I don't have. I yeah, I, was... I don't have Nacho written down. So I think I so think good. you're Nacho. So so nerd, you're late. Hey, Jay. See? That's how you greet people. Got it. Dot, dot, dot. I'll go help. I'll, um, uh. <laughs> I'll go help sweater problems. <laughs> Something wrong? <laughs> She's not good with dogs. Uh. All right, we're all here, so we can start. Yo, Anchorage. Alma. Or wait, hold on. Alma. I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Oh, hold on. Hmm? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Can't you speed it up? I've used those microwave wire things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly, or bur burn that sucker. <laughs> so, how long? Fifteen minutes or so. A bell will ring when the time comes. You need to kill some time, then. Hmm. Alright, let's play Truth or Dare. Oh, no! What? I'll pass. Games of kids. I'm in. Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun. As long as that, that truth stays away from me. As that much stays away from me. <laughs> That'll make the time pass faster. I'll pat. So, <laughs> you'll play. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Here we go! <laughs> Alright then. Rules are simple. If you get picked, you either you pick either truth or dare. After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. <laughs> that said, Jill. Why do I start first? Yes? You start. Pick someone. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh, um. Let's see. Oh. Interactive. Um, it is interactive. I don't know if this affects the true ending or not. If this affects a good ending or not. Uh, I don't want to play this multiple times, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see truth or dare. Sorry. Fair uh, enough. Fair enough. Oh. Uh, so in the meantime, how's everybody doing? Yeah, dog. It's a it's a cyberpunk dog. It, it it's it's a hyper intelligent dog, but it's a party dog, so all it knows is how to party. Yes. <laughs> His name is Rad Sheba. Incidentally, it's Rad Sheba. <laughs> How you Very doing, Bravo? Note. Welcome in. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm sorry. Give me a second. I want to pick the funniest ones. Um, oh, also, I just noticed on your on your stream it says room code. Oh, no, this game is not multiplayer. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, we're the only ones that can date people. The room code does not work. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Sultry, you're late. Uh, uh, let me see. I guess we can go through everyone. I mm -hmm. think that's how it works. We'll, I'll, we go through everyone, so it doesn't matter who we pick first. Uh, I'll pick boss. All right. Okay, boss. 
I pick Dare. Dare? Uh, suplex skill. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> suplex who? Sucker! <laughs> what? Oh, my God! That, that's God is my witness! That man is four and a half! All right. Gillian Newt, get up. Uh, Ooh. Truth or dare? No, no, Dangus. Mm. Dare? Oh, oh, dare. Okay. I dare you to lift Jamie. Jamie with one hand. <laughs> you just didn't want to ask me something, right? Okay, then, truth. Did you or did you not have a brief stint as a bodyguard to a certain Madame Laverne six years ago? Huh? Six years ago? I don't think so. I don't even know any Madame Laverne. Alright, that's one possibility off the list. The fuck? Alright then. Um, you, the, the dog. dog. <laughs> Come on! Dare. Dare. I dare you. No, I'm the one that dares you. Bring it on! Um... Roll? Sir, yes sir! <laughs> You're not rolling. Sir, yes sir! <laughs> Whatever, you did it. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, Jay. Truth or dare? Truth. Are those things on your head your ears? My. Eh? Your twin tails. Ah, uh, no, they're not. Oh, I see. Oh, no, the food is done. Sorry, the boss. You did? Yes. Uh, I think Dorothy would be interesting. Let's just go like this, 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 this. Sure. That, 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 that. Hmm. Dorothy. Oh, God. Yes! I picked there! Okay. I want you to put your leg behind your head. Just that? All right. So, the extra flexible joints weren't just a bluff. I never bluff. I'm pretty sure I've heard something rip, though. <laughs> okay then, Dana. I pick dare. I dare you to stare honey straight into the eyes for ten seconds. Hmm? Mm. Sure. Who's honey? Am I honey? Presumably. Please stop. Seven seconds. And done. Okay, then. Dog. Yes! Challenge me! Chase your tail. But only make three spins. No more, no less. Alright! Done. That was four. And now... Two. Ah! <laughs> that was three. Good job. All right. Hey, Jay, pick one. There. I dare you to call me a good boy. <laughs> good, good, good boy. Yes. I'm getting hungry. Actually, I want to go for um. I want to go for uh, uh, Alma. Go for <laughs> it. Okay, Alma. Truth or dare? Hmm. Dare. Then I dare you to call Jill by his real name. Gillian. So you can actually do it. Of course I can, but messing with Dilbert is more fun. 
<laughs> well then, Dorothy, truth or dare? I'll pick truth. Do you have any dreams you'd look, you'd want to eventually fulfill? Well, this might sound silly, but I want to work with kids. Oh? I have a friend who works in an orphanage. I help her from time to time. And I find it so much fun to work with kids. Can't explain why. If I had to pick another job or think of something I want to eventually try, that would be it. Teacher, nurse, pediatrician, something like that. That wasn't an answer I expected. Neither. What are you implying? Okay, hey, John, pick. Um, <laughs> there? <laughs> I dare you to say something nice about all of us playing. <sighs> well, you're a pretty cheerful girl, Dorothy. Of course I am. Chief, well, I pretty much owe you everything for giving my life any semblance of order. Of course you do. Alma, you can be a really caring, caring person. Can be. And Jill, you're a pretty smart girl. I wonder if that's true. So is nobody going to say anything nice about him in return? What is there to say? One of the nicest and most responsible guys I've ever met kind that gets you talking through an expression of sincere interest. The kind of guy that will go the extra mile even when asked not to. I always say that more frequently, you know. <laughs> A bell? Food's ready. Finally. Let's go. You guys go ahead. I'll have a quick smoke outside. Careful. Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Ah, oh. I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Uh, want one? You know I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? Yeah, technically we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. Oh. But I just got a message that Diana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All of this has helped keep my mind off things for a while. <sighs> Sit. Is it weird to feel an absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Ask Katyusha, or any of the old literature maidens who spouse want and to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. And if you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to a war. I suppose, I guess. Well, although the circumstances make me not want to, I've got to go. Careful out there. Oh, yeah. You should take the chance to spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's right. Hey, Jill's back. Oh. Moon. This is different. That's certainly an interesting looking uh, natural satellite there. This is interesting. It is. It's rather ominous also. Very ominous. The moon is blown to bits. Is that Jill? It looks like Jill. 
Chapter three, Dolce. Dolce, yeah. Well, that was a sh short session. That was a short day. It was. <laughs> I feel like I missed some stuff. I think like, I missed some dialogue. It did definitely. It did definitely feel like unusually short. Yeah. Let me look that up. That's so weird. Um. That was odd. Uh. Ten thousand dollars, or you'll be evicted. I didn't make any money today. Ah, we, I guess it is a holiday. It is a holiday. Oh well, well. Uh, Maybe we'll get uh, some sort of bonus tomorrow, perhaps. when I'm done with the game. So there is a bunch of responses that we mm. did miss. Okay. I'm going to see if that has any impact on the ending. So, been up to anything interesting lately? Yeah, commission work. Lots of commission work. I guess that, if you count that interesting. That's pretty interesting. Oh. Yeah. Jill picking the dog at any point will dare him to stay outside and wait, excluding him from the rest of the game. <laughs> mm. That's kind of sad. That um, is kind of sad. I'm glad we didn't pick uh, Rad Sheba then. I like, I like him. What did I miss? What did I friggin' miss? Day 13. The exception to the three run kit completion is the party on day 13, during which you can play Tutor Dare. If the best way to see all of these is to make a save at the beginning of the day, then play through it multiple times. Do you want to do that? Sure. It doesn't, I don't think it has any impact on the ending. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's. Let's save it. Who did we talk to? We talked to, or we chose. We, the, we chose the boss. We mm -hmm. chose Dorothy, and then we chose Alma. Yeah. What if we chose the boss three times in a row? That could be interesting. Let's just do all the dialogue. I, I let's just make this day thirteen night. Day thirteen two. All right, we saved it. We saved the day fourteen. Yep. Load. Load. Day third. We're running out of save slots. Oh no. A little bit, yes. All right, let's go to work. Is there a skip button? <laughs> I guess it's just called mashing through the text uh, as quick as you can. I'm using a combination of the keyboard and the mouse. Nice. Oh, I can just hold control. That works. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, Let's see. I'm, we haven't. Oh. We haven't picked on Gil. We haven't picked Gil, yeah. And picking the dog will just dare them to wait outside. So that's not really interesting. Yeah. Uh, Gil. Oh, thank you. Okay, then, Gil. What do you pick? Um, True. What's your last name? There. I picked there. <laughs> Try to make a sugar rush with your eyes closed. All right. Here. Here. <laughs> this is a beer. Well, it works, I think. My turn, right? Well. Can you pick me, you the dog. Come on. Dare, I dare you. Uh, I think we already saw that. Uh, we didn't actually. He was asked to uh, to roll over last time. You're right. Let's go back then. Let's read what we what I 
Well, that there's you. Bring yes. it on. Uh, uh, Bring it on. Um, sit? Sir, yes, sir. You're not sitting. Sir, yes, sir. Whatever, you did it. All right, you, the blonde, pet me. Eh, <laughs> whatever. Your hands are cold. Colder than your usual hands, I guess. All right, then. Jill. I'll go with there. Give me a shoulder massage. Ooh, woo. Really? Really. Okay. You are good at this. My grandpa taught me how years ago. How old were you when your grandpa died? 14 or so, if memory serves me right. Then he was... Sorry, you need to use the bathroom. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jill, what did that massage do exactly? It was a regular massage. I might have accidentally unclasped her bra, though. <laughs> I felt like something snapped. Well, just imagine the pressure the poor thing must be a subject to. You have a pretty triumphant look on your face, though. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I wonder. If everyone's done talking about my bra, let's move on. And how long is food until the food is done? Look at the the person you want to pick. Uh, I wonder if it, the dialogue will change if I pick the boss this, at the second time. Let's find out. Alright, boss pick. Truth me. How did you get your arm? Oh, this is new. On second thought, dare me. <sighs> Lift go by the neck of the shirt. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Happy? Yes, who cares? I didn't get to hear about your arm. I do. I care. All right, Gil. Now that I have you in this position, answer me. <laughs> I didn't pick. You're in no position to pick. Now answer. Did you live in Scotland for two years? Scotland? No. I guess that rules out a couple of possibilities. What is she trying to find out? <laughs> She's trying to plumb the depths of Gil Gillian's storied dark past. I suppose. Um, Chief? What? Oh, right. Still lifting you. Sorry. And now she apologizes. I guess it's my turn. Sip. <clears throat> hey, Alma, truth or dare? Hmm, dare. Oh, oh, I have a suggestion. You stay quiet. Fine. Hmm, how strong are those arms of yours? Still my muscles under them, so not very. Although, with not having fleshy skin, making makes things easier. Wait, that's true. Not there. I just wanted to make sure. I dare you to break this nut with your hands. Newt. Okay. <laughs> well, that was easy. Man, <laughs> Gil, are you really into that? <laughs> Cock and ball torture. Gil loves walnuts. <laughs> huh? Asking a woman to break a nut in her hands and then watching her eat it, does that turn you on? Huh? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, wait. Is this an actual thing that turns guys on? I need to know for professional reasons. <laughs> 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 your, your turn, turn. Gilbert. <laughs> Gil, wait, that was 
close this time. My turn then. All right. Hey, Jill, pick. Um, truth. Okay then. What's your most embarrassing childhood dream? Um, elaborate? For example, when I was a girl, I wanted to be a professional puzzle master. I guess, in a way, I accomplished that, but you understand. I mean, in a way, you did, because you're Alice Rabbit. I mean, hacking is the ultimate puzzle. I want to be a ventriloquist. Huh? When I was a child, I liked this show called Lucia's Funhouse. The one with the woman in the house with the talking stuff? That one. My parents divorced when I was around six, I think. Mom was on a tour with an orchestra. My dad was working constantly. I spent a lot of time with my grandpa, but he slept a lot. So I was on my own most of the time. I like to pretend things like chairs or beds could talk. And since AI wasn't so advanced back then. Anyway. I went to the, a magic show once, and there was this guy making a puppet talk. My dad told me he was a ventriloquist, so I got kind of obsessed about wanting to be one. Even today, I'd be lying if I said I don't think about it every now and then. That's why you pretend for it and talk. She what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm getting hungry. Uh, Do you want to choose uh, Dana again? You said you wanted to see all three of her responses. Yeah. Uh, well, we. You're right. Hmm, boss. I'll pick Dare. Can you lift me with just your non-mechanical arm? Uh, their her fingers are pointing at each other and like their fingers are dancing. She's like, could you pick me up? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> All right, you can, you can. Please put me down. Well then, hey, Gil, truth or dare? Can I really pick? Eh, let's go with dare. Okay then, please cross your arms. All right. Now turn a bit to the left. He's still profiling him. <laughs> Uh, I mean, my left. Oh. A bit more, and now stand still for a second. Boss, is that a picture? That it is. Nope, not even same race. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> she was! <laughs> you were comparing me to a pic? Yep. I at least see it. No. <laughs> Fine. Oh, that's it. All right, that concludes that. Does, does the dialogue change out here? Hey, I mean, hello. They like for you, don't you think? Want one? You know, I don't smoke. Uh, okay, it's the same. Uh, so yeah, it looks to be about the same. All right, let's go back. All right, how many more run-throughs running... do we want to do? Uh, so we got all of Dana's. You got all of Dana's, I yes. want to, I want to check out all of... I want to check out all of um, Dorothy's. All right. And all of Alma's. But are you interested in... Um, are you interested in, in Gil's? Sure, yeah. I like Gil. So we did... Gil, we did Gil first. Also sit. We might as well just do all of, you know, one person's and then all of another person's and all of the, the other person's so that we just have them, yeah. you know, so that we keep them straight at this point. Yes. Yeah. All right. Who's about... first? Uh, Dorothy. We're going to do Dorothy. Dorothy. Well then, Dorothy. Yes. Truth or dare? Let's go with truth. Is there anything you have rejected from clients? Those who want to roleplay me with mutilation. Oh, God. You're so forward with that. Oh, God. Huh. When, when has Dorothy not been forward with anything? 
you're you're right. I mean, sure, I can take off my limbs with no problem. I have to do that for maintenance every now and again. But I'm not okay with doing it for clients. Because first, that leaves me defenseless, which I can't allow by any means. And second, half of the time, the roleplay involves a violent scenario. And there are some behaviors I won't reinforce. Namely, non consensual violence of any kind. Let's go, Dorothy! Interesting. All right, then, my turn. You, sweater pups. Okay. <laughs> Truth or dare? Um, dare? Man, you're brave or stupid. Okay, I want you to say it in the most sultry voice you can muster. Admin override. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Admin override. You can do better than that, Tiberius. I mean, I I certainly could, but I'm trying to role play the role play Alma as being somewhat awkward with this. Right. I can I can try I can take it again if you want. I mean, for the content, you gotta do it for the content. Admin override. Yes, that's good and yummy. Happy? <laughs> yes, I am happy. <laughs> yes, very. Seems you caused some collateral damage there. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't, don't mind me. Seriously, guys? <laughs> Well, let's see. You, the dog. My name is... Yeah, whatever, I want you to bark. I haven't picked Dare. I said bark. Bark? <laughs> I asked you to do it, not, say, not to say it. Bark. Barking. Hey, if I bark, then I'm the king of the bar. Because I'm barking. <laughs> this, this guy is a, this guy's hilarious. And this is why I don't. This is why I don't want him to be gone for the rest of the game because he's very good. Wow, that was so hilarious! I have a, I have a, I have a sound for this. I think. Where's yeah. the? Where's the? Uh, I don't have. I, I thought I had um, a, a, a a rim shot. Oh damn! About dumb tish. Oh there it is. There we go. <laughs> Seriously, Jill? Yeah, yeah. I have a little sense of humor. Whatever. All right, my turn. Hey, Jay. Truth or dare? Um there then pet me i'll pick truth okay why are your nails so thin my eh? your nails you won't be able to dig with such flimsy nails um all humans have nails like these wait they do how do you dig with shovels you guys are weird why are you so reluctant to pet him? Call it a gut feeling. As long as the food is done. I think we already saw Dorothy the second. The second dialogue of Dorothy. I'll just pick Dorothy so, again just 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 for the sake of it. Or Sure. Because yeah, we're gonna see all all the characters dialogue. Or third yeah. yeah, one, two, and three dares. Anyway, so okay. I want you to put your leg behind your head. Oh, we already said. Yep. Yeah, we already saw that. Okay, Dorothy. Okay then, Dorothy. Dare. Do something freaky. Like removing my head. Removing your 
No, I, that's not what I was implying. I should have used a different kind of word. <laughs> because it can remove my head with no problem. Do you want me to remove my head? I I'll pass. I'll take your word for it. Anyone want to see that? No. No, thank you. I do, but I'm not going to be the party pooper here. Fine, I guess it's my turn now. <laughs> hey, Dana, what do you pick? Did Dorothy do anything for that dare? No, she did not do anything. I, I guess Jill I was guess satisfied. I guess, I guess offering to remove one's head is kind of freaky. Jill was implying that she was going. To, she wanted her to remove her top or something. <laughs> is that not what she offered to do? Your head is on you're top right. of your body. You're tr You're right. You're very right about that. But the different. Uh, the, the, there's a different part of the top. That sh yeah. Let's go. I'll her hair. Go. Yes. I'm, anyway. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure that's re removal as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll pick Truth. If you had to marry Honey or John, who would you pick? Mm, probably Jill. Eh? I mean, she's cute. She's smart. And I kind of own Gil anyway, so it's kind of redundant. <laughs> mm. Speaking of Gil, Truth or Truth? Pick one for me. Well, where were you born? She's writing down notes. She has like a notepad out. She has in, in her office, hidden behind a secret wall, she has a pin board with everything that she knows about Gil. Yes. And Charlie Day is there as well, for some reason. She he just lives in there. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> I don't really know. It's one of those things I can't remember or was never informed about. Strangely, I do remember an early childhood in the Arctic of all places. The Arctic, the Arctic. huh? The Arctic? Just, huh? That's kind of, that's kind of weird. Alright, right. food. Uh, oh, exit. We did all of Dorothy. We did all of Dorothy's, yes. Let's do all of Alma's. Did we do Gil yet? Or yes. No. We yeah, did we started Gil, with Gil, right. We started with Gil. We so started we saw with that. Gil. Uh load. And this is why I had us do them all uh in all three in one setting, because I would get confused otherwise. I got confused anyway. Yeah. I wish we could have played with Jamie. That would have been, that would have been fun. fun. Yeah, that would have been lots of fun. Oh, you picked there. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, Alma. Alma. Hmm, Alma. Let's go with Truth. What's the most uncomfortable thing that's happened to those arms of yours? Uncomfortable. I get stuck on a lot of clothes and fibers. Sometimes the joints get jammed with cloth. Relatable. That's really, that's very relatable. Oh my god! Like, imagine putting on a suit with this fucking arm right here. Like, holy crap! Have you ever done that? Yes. Mm. It was like an extra, extra, extra large suit that I had to cut down just mm -hmm. so my arm could fit, and I had to cut a little hole for the exhaust pipe. So it can actually air out. Mm. It's very, very uncomfortable. I look I really, imagine. I look ridiculous. Well, I look ridiculous. My arm has a pretty, pretty reasonable human-like form factor, and it even it has some troubles. So I can, oh. I can, yeah. I see where you're coming from there. Yeah. Oof. Just how much of those arms are mechanical, anyway? Less than you think. The only things I truly lost were my hands. The arm muscles are still mine, albeit with some enhancements. And my skin doesn't grow on them, they're covered by the plates. It's more an enhancement than a replacement, really. Huh. Well then. Hey, boss. Me? Truth or dare? Dare me, I dare you. 
Hmm. Use an Argentine back backbreaker on Nick. Oh, I'm not familiar with that. I'm not familiar with that professional wrestling move. I think it's, if I remember correctly, it's the one where you like lift someone up on your back, sort of almost like a fireman's carry, uh, and then you uh -huh. pull on their neck and their leg. Oh, ooh. That, or that you like take a knee while you're while you're holding them to sort of like slam the against your back. It's one that of those sounds, two. Possibly both, super actually. <laughs> anyway. Nick! Shut the fuck bro! He's down for the count! I give, Batman I give! Is not, Batman's not getting back up! Only after you answer this. What? Does the name Joseph Valentine ring any bells? I know of Joseph Shine, but not Valentine. Joseph Shine. All right, then. I guess it's my turn. <laughs> um, you gonna be all right? <laughs> hey, Chief, can you drop me? <laughs> oh, right. Ugh. Hey, Jill, truth or dare? I'll pick dare. At the dog. Why does everyone want me to pick the fucking dog? <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Come here, mutt. Yes, come on. Hit me harder. Is that all you got? Oh, uh, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do uh, Alma again. Alright then, Alma. I'll pick truth. The most embarrassing thing that has happened to your arms. Wait, did we do this already? Mm, no. Okay. So yeah, uh, what was the dialogue before this one? Uh, what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to your arms? And well, then she said, well, yeah. Well, there was this one time when I got mugged on the street, so I, uh... I kind of threw my hand at the thief to knock him out. Wow! Brutal? I think it's what you usually call a rocket punch. Let's go! Oh, here's a rocket punch like me! <laughs> <laughs> Relatable! Not relatable for me, unfortunately. So you didn't throw it so much as it propelled itself towards the thief. Yep. And how is that embarrassing and not badass? It was just so cartoony. It's a bit embarrassing. It's a bit impractical, too. The hand has a startup time after reattachment. Hey, so does mine. Wow. Hmm. Yes, but why add such a function? Why wouldn't you add such a function? Dana, you, you're absolutely right. Well, because... Boss, don't tell your arm can also... This hand of mine is awesome. <laughs> My turn, then. I'll pick Lorenzo. Of all of those different names. Gillian. Casimiro. Truth or dare? Um, truth? How do you manage to keep that stubble of yours at the same length all the time? How do I... Uh? I mean, no matter when I come here, it's always at 3... Whether it's 3 a.m. on a weekday or in the afternoon on Sunday, you always have the same three-day beard. Never gets any longer, but you also never shave. How do you do that? Well... It's a good question, really. That's a good question, really. It starts taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> How did I think about it? Uh, sweat dripping down his his brow. Uh, uh, I do shave, but I use an electric razor. Set it quite low, so. Hmm. You're not saying something, but whatever. Anyways, um, let's see. Hey, dog. Dare, dare. Then play dead. Uh, oh. He's fucking dead. He's uh, fucking dead, SpongeBob. <laughs> there's not much time left. I, I want you to know. 
I always thought you were. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> this is this is so worth it. This is fucking worth it. A oh, fuck boy. I'm dead. <laughs> no, he's dead. I'm so dead. Hey, Jay, I dare you to marry me. <laughs> okay. I was joking, joking. Don't bury me for real, so I'm alive. I'm getting hungry. Uh, Alma again, right? Final Alma, yep. Okay, Alma. Trooper the Dare. Hmm, there. And I dare you to call Gil by his real name. Oh, we did this. We have, yes. And then... And exit, then, and then... Then we don't want to do Gil? Didn't we already do Gil? We did Gil... We did Gil's first interaction. We didn't do his second or didn't third. We? we didn't do Gil yet, no. I thought we already Pretty had sure this, we didn't. This, this discussion. We didn't do... We, we did... I picked Gil the first time. But I didn't pick him the second or third time. All right. Yet. So we got to do that. Fair enough. Uh, setting. I should have saved right before going. Well, we before going. That's okay. What were we gonna say? Hmm. What were we gonna say? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Um. So let's pick Gil. I think we picked him. Gil. What do you pick? True. What's your last name? Okay, we've already gotten... Already did last yeah. name. Gil. Okay. Okay, Gil. Pick your poison. Truth. How did you get in the city? How did you end up here of all places? To be honest, I just wandered aimlessly for some time. Stuff happened, and I went from place to place. Eventually, I came across the city and stumbled upon the bar. Almost like it was destiny. Huh. Hmm. Hey, dog. Truth. What's your owner's name? I'm not revealing it. It might be Tom, it might be James, it might be something else, but I'm not revealing it. What I can tell you is that my name is... What if he's called Tom James? Who told you? <laughs> okay, then. Who's your owner, G? It's Boss. It's Dana, right? It's definitely Boss. <sighs> Whatever. You take it from here, Jill. Uh, Gil again. Well then, Gil. What do you pick? I'll go with Bear. I dare to eat this bell pepper. Truth. Truth. I meant truth. Eat the bell pepper! Eat it. 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 I'd rather not. Eat it or I'll make your life impossible next week. Eat it or I'll make your life impossible next week. <laughs> Ugh. Was that so hard? Yes. <laughs> Anyways, what do you pick, Alma? I pick truth. What's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you while drunk? I. I almost. Bought a timeshare in Panama. Ooh. Oh, that. Not a good idea. Huh? What? Ah. I was on vacation with my family and family's friends. We went to a hotel where a couple of salesmen tried to coerce us into buying a timeshare. Oh no, I have this... Yes, I had this same exact experience. Oh, it's not... It is so awful. Oh. Hmm. When I was sober, it was obvious nonsense. But I then I fell into their trap with a free bar. 
Were it not for my brother-in-law, I'd be forever doomed to spend one week a year in Panama. You could just not go. And lose my money? Forget it. Oh, that's it. That's it. I think we, I think we, I think we heard everyone. You've seen every, every dare except for the one dare in, involving the dog. Which, or he just every, goes out, he just, he just goes outside and. Yeah. Goes outside and does not participate. Right. So, do you want to do the next day? Because it was so short. Um, I don't know. We're getting, we're, we're like 40 minutes till like the usual end time or sort of the, the end time that I usually shoot for. I've only been so. streaming for an hour. <laughs> but, hmm. uh, we've only been streaming for like an hour. That's well, I mean, I mean, short. end time as in time of the day, not time as in amount of time. Okay. So I don't, I don't uh, know that we can comfortably fit a day, a day into that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess it, some days are longer than others. Isn't that the truth? You want, huh? you, want you want to play it by ear? Um, I don't know. I don't want to have to stop in the middle of a day because that'll throw off our rhythm for like the next stream too. Okay, like if you if you, you really want to, we can. Or if you just want to, I don't know, hang out a little bit after the after the we are completed with this, just free chat for a while. Eh. I kind of wanted to go to the next day. That was the point. I was so short. Hmm. Yeah, if you if you really want to, we can. I mean, like I said, if it it it's okay if it, we have to end early. I mean, we'll pick it up. Okay. Because yeah, uh, I, honestly, I would prefer to not. Hmm. What do you want? To, what did you shoot? Uh. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do, then. Uh, I'll be right back, folks. Uh, huh. gonna get, I'm going to get some water, and uh, we'll figure it out after the break what we're going to do. So I'll stay huh. tuned. So do we want, stay like, a break break, or do we just want a water break? It's just, like, a little small little water break. Okay. Yep. We'll be right back. Wah! Okay. All right. We are, uh, we, we are both muted. Um, oh, okay. Okay, I think we're just going to wrap it up for tonight. Um, Indeed. And we're going to pick it up since it was such a short thing and uh, we kind of have a tight schedule right now. Um, we weren't expecting we weren't expecting it to be this short. So. Yeah. Apologies for that. <laughs> it is a we little bit to unfortunate. Keep, yeah. We wanted to keep it um, 
wanted to keep uh what was i going to say um each stream to one day a stream so yeah, stream. thanks for thanks stopping for being by here madrosity yeah thanks for stopping by um i don't know if i want to raid anyone i'll see you if you have anyone in mind who wanted to raid um let's see who's online i i never or very rarely do i not raid uh we could go and drop by uh, alt alt stream. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's raid into alt. All right, yeah. our good friend Altariana. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> Too bad, alt. You don't get to decide who we raid. No, we're doing it. We're doing it, alt. <laughs> All right. I don't great. care. I don't care. We're we're raiding into while you're ending. Ha 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 ha. This, this is punishment for the, the, the bullying you did for me at a hat in time. <laughs> You're joining me while I'm ending, Kevin! How are you doing, Kevin? Uh, I'll be streaming next week. Uh, it, drop me a follow if you want to see more of this epic content. Oh, God. Why, why do people have to drop by when I'm ending stream all the time? Such Thank you the for way the follow. Things. I am so close to 300. Okay. Before I end, I have an announcement to make after 300. So if you want it, so I have a community goal. I'll be setting up a community goal next week. And it's going to be, and yes, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So stop by and get people to follow my channel because I need 300. It's going to be great. It's going to be freaking great. All right, everyone, take care of yourselves. Don't die. And uh, we'll stop by our turn and give them, give them their, our love. Show them the love. And uh, do some push-ups today. That's your that's your goal for today. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. And bye -bye. as for myself, I hope you all have a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. The customary raid message is we have arrived, as always. So, uh, raid, I guess. I kind of messed that up. But anyway, raid. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye.